Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Right, a lot of you are probably looking at this right now and thinking, Duck, what the fuck is this? What are, what are you doing here? Okay, well, let me explain, right? I've wanted to do, like, a video in this sort of format for a while where I talk about something that's currently ongoing, but I can't be arsed basically turning on my camera, standing in front of there and talking about it that way. I don't know. I just feel like... Maybe it's because I just feel more comfortable being behind the mic than I do behind the camera. And this just makes rambling feel a lot nicer because it's easier to edit and shit, but whatever, whatever. Holy fuck do I have something to talk about today because I, I tend not to comment too much on what's happening in this industry or stuff that's in, that is interesting to me specifically. Because let's face it, it's pretty limited <laughs> considering what I talk about in my... Uh, in my other videos, but, whoo, the, yeah, 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 there's, there's gonna be the new Smash Brothers, I uh, got announced at the, uh, Nintendo Direct that we had there on the, fuck, I can't even mind what day it is, I'm late anyway, because I'm, I'm okay with letting the water, like, sort of calm a little bit before I throw in my two cents, because my fucking YouTube, you know, subscription feed was just all, that fucking thumbnail of the inkling girl with the Smash logo in her eye, you know, it's like, oh, that's good thumbnail material, they were probably thinking about that when they fucking made that trailer, but whatever, it's a few days have passed, so here he, here I go. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good direct, and even without the Smash trailer right at the end, it was just like, alright, and, but then that just sort of drops, and you're like, oh, man. I mean, I'm just... Super, super happy about it, you know, because like Smash has just become so, uh, so important to me over the years, you know. Like I, I've, I'm sure I've recapped in multiple videos. The N64 game was a big childhood favorite of mine. So many good memories with it. One of my favorite N64 games. Love the shit to death. Melee and Brawl, I played them, but I didn't really, like, play them to the extent that I did that one, you know. They were kind of just like these fighters following up to that wonderful game. And, you know, to say I didn't play them as much as the N64 game, you know, that implies that I didn't play them much at all. I played them quite a bit, but Smash 4, I don't know, things really clicked together with Smash 4. It was definitely a combination of having friends, like actual coming round to my flat to play Smash on a regular basis and getting into the uh, competitive scene. I know people, you know, there's with Smash there's always been the whole casual versus competitive uh, meme thing, I don't know what to call it, but I really do follow Smash competitively quite a bit, you know, like I know, I don't know if anybody else in my, any of my other viewers do as well, you know, I know all these names like Mewtwo King, Mango Armada, uh, that's on the melee side, obviously, on the Smash 4 side, you got, like, um, Zero, who's probably gonna come out of retirement now, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Ally, Salem, uh, the Buzz Nairo, I, I, I know all these names and I follow it fa a fair bit, you know, I really, I'm very, very into it, so, uh, this announcement really got me hyped, I was like, yes, I was like, oh, gee whiz, nice one, oh, yeah, <laughs> This, this, see, this is why, this is why I wanted to come behind the mic, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm happy, I'm, I'm so happy, I'm very, very happy. Um, and uh, it's funny, you know, like, now that I have let the water settle and I'm thinking about it now, it was actually a fairly, like, non-announcement, really. Nintendo basically said, at the end of that Direct, oh yeah, we're making a new Smash game. It's like, well, duh, of course you are. And, oh, by the way, Inkling's gonna be in it, which was definitely, like, the safest bet that Nintendo could have put into the new Smash. You know, Splatoon is just, like, on fire. It really has become a big franchise for Nintendo, and, you know, it would just be a, the most stupid thing ever if Inkling wasn't in Smash Brothers at this point. You know, it's that's really just how it is, quite frankly. And yet everybody's, like, super mega excited. Including me! Including me! You know, it's like, um... Yeah, 2018 though, holy shit, that's the, that was a big deal for me because I don't think, I mean I remember when Smash 4 got announced, it was like, uh, hopefully I got my dates right here, it was like E3 2013, and even before that we already knew about the game, like, like we do right now with this one, um, but then it didn't come out until like, um, 
November 2014. So that was like a 16 month wait, roughly, um, between the reveal and us actually getting it. And Nade will probably get this one around November time as well. Uh, provided that they stick to the 2018 mark. I think it's like. I know this is this theory. I see this theory sort of like chucked about a little bit, but. You know, ever since, like, Iwata passed, you know, and we've had this new chairman, uh, Kimishima, who is just doing that. He's the chairman of Nintendo. He's the guy up at the top, and he's not really showing up in a, any directs or something. Um, you know, like, I'm wondering how much he has been changing the company. Because, you know, if you look at last year with the Switch, we got, like, all of these games, like, on time. They weren't delayed and stuff. And it's like, is he doing something that Iwata didn't? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but either way, it's like, to get a Smash game in the same year that it was actually revealed is pretty mental. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Um, and I, I've not addressed this yet, actually. To me, this is definitely a new game, you know, like, I think at the end of the Direct, you know, when people were, were like, doing their live reactions, because, again, I got swamped with that in my YouTube subscription feed as well, um, a lot of people were kind of just assuming that it was maybe a pour of, like, you know, Smash 4, you know, maybe it would combine the the content from the 3DS and the Wii U into one, you know, that was kind of like the, uh, the dream, I suppose, uh, but no, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a new game, um, because... You know, we you see in the trailer Breath of the Wild Link, and it just seems weird that they would show that and not, um, you know, uh, make it like an alternate costume in the Wii U version or whatever. Uh, that and it's also in CG. I know that those CG trailers apparently take a long time to make. You know, they're in planning for like a while. So, and that's how Smash 4 obviously uh, got revealed and stuff. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they would do this for Smash 4. Mind you, I could be wrong. I feel like this, this, I actually was much more convincing in my head than I was right now, but I'm gonna hold that this is definitely a new game, you know? So, yeah. Um, now, I suppose I'll talk a little bit about what I would like in the new game. Um, you know, one, one of the big ones would have been a GameCube controller support, but there was recently that patch with the Switch, well, it was a few months ago at this point, that allowed you to play any, like, um, uh, Switch game with your GameCube. And apparently Nintendo did that by accident, they claimed. I don't know how you do that necessarily, but, you know, the option is there to use a GameCube controller, should we want to. That's big. That's very big. I I'm very happy about that. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I guess... Just to be obligatory, we might as well talk about what characters I want. Now, I might do, like, a whole video on this, and... Considering how much I followed, like, the development of Smash 4, and uh, its aftermath and that, I know for a fact that, you know, Nint Sakurai... Fucking hell, I hope Sakurai is still even on this game. Like, you know, we heard all that stuff about his arms and about how much he was drained with Smash 4. <sighs> Fuck. It's not gonna feel like a Smash game without him. It'll, it'll be interesting to know, but whatever, whatever. I know he's not watching this video thinking, Oh yeah, I could put this character in, you know. The roster will be in place right now. You know, it'll probably have been in place for a long time. Um, but obviously, obviously we're going to get Inkling. That's the new one. That's pretty cool. Um, I remember with Smash 4, my sort of like um, wish list consisted of like three characters. Those being um, Shulk, which we got. Uh, Palatina, which we got, and Professor Layton. I don't know, I thought Professor Layton would have been cool. Um, after looking into it a bit more, I understand that Professor Layton technically isn't a Nintendo character. He belongs to level 5. Nintendo just publishes the game, so I guess that's um, sort of out. And um, to be honest, I'm kind of in a position where I don't necessarily have a character from Nintendo, I'll touch on that in a minute, that... I really want to see uh, come in, you know? Like, we'll probably get, like, somebody from ARMS, Nintendo. I feel like they're sort of trying to sweep that game under the rug, but, you know, obviously they do want to push it at the same time in case it does catch on, and I think putting a character in the Smash would help that game quite a bit. But, uh, you know, that that's just a prediction on my part. Um, I remember I also... During the, like, DLC run that we got for Smash 4, one character that I really wanted to be to go in 
was Elma from Xenoblade Chronicles X. Mainly because I was just such a massive Xenoblade junkie, and it would have been so cool for me to have, like, a, another rep from Xenoblade to be in the game. Um, you know, like, um, but obviously that never happened, but uh, now that we are in a post-Xenoblade Chronicles 2 world, chances are if we're going to get another Xenoblade character, it'll be Rex. And considering how the game functions, it's probably going to have to be an Ice Climbers thing where you have Rex and Pyra slash Mithra fighting together. Because you know how much they love to, like, how their attention to detail with making characters fit in Smash Brothers, but also feel like they came from their game. So, you know, Rex obviously doesn't fight without his blades, i.e. Pyra and Mithra. So, I feel like it would be something like that. Um, I'm not too fussed about it, though, because this this is probably a, a whole other video in of itself, but I wasn't actually that fussed about Xenoblade 2. Like, I, I have all these conflicting emotions in my head, and I may make a video on that, but as of right now, if Rex didn't make it into Smash, I would be alright with that. I'd rather have Elma, to be honest. Like, I know that won't happen, because Xenoblade Chronicles X is, like, this game Nintendo wants us to forget about at this point, but I would probably take that, you know? Um, other than that, I think I would just want... I already mentioned them. Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers would be, like... They, they need to come back, okay? They gave that excuse about how they couldn't, like, get them to work on the 3DS. But they are so important, like, to Smash, you know, like, Ice Climbers, right? At this moment, if there is one character that I would put in this game, it would be them. I really want to see them come back. Uh, so, yeah. I think that's that. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about how excited I am about this. It's going to be a good year for Nintendo. Again. Yeah. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.